Next up, we have the refine edge for our selection. Now I'm looking at this picture here, and we're just zoomed in on this tree. I'm going to use the magic wand, and let's do a basic selection using the magic wand. And let's choose the add, and I'll add in this section and that section. I'll then invert that, and that will give me just this area here. There we go. Let's now zoom in a little tighter on this. And here's where we can use that modify tool. Notice we didn't really catch the edges completely. It's kind of missing a little bit here and there. Go over to select and refine edge. Now, first off, you'll notice that we have this tool here with a cross in the middle and then a circle around that. That is the selection tool. You can use that to spot where you want to add an additional selection. You can change that size right down here at the bottom to make that much larger or much smaller. A little slider control right down there. I'm not sure why this isn't up in the box. It really should be. So we have that. Adjust that size. You can look at your image in different ways. A little drop down list here. This is what's called the marging ants. And that's the little dashed line. Do an overlay view. Do it on black. Pretty easy to see this if it's on black. You can do it on white black and white or just the layers this is what it would look like if we removed that area that was selected or look at the whole layer as well so different ways of looking at this you can expand your detection area here or subtract from your detection area we can adjust the edge detection here using their, our radius tool a little larger or smaller on our edge detection we can smooth the edge out so that kind of softens up that edge. Or we can feather the edge. Use a kind of see-through. We can increase the contrast at the edge. And one I found is most useful right down here is the shift edge. This allows you to expand or contract the selection. So I'm going to shift my edge in. It's contracting this how it's getting in tighter now to the tree or I can expand out a little bit. In this case, I want to expand it just a little bit. Notice as it expands, it's doing a pretty good job of finding the rest of those edges. So this one control is doing pretty much what I want to here. And I'll come out a little bit further. Just kind of edging it out. That's about as far as it will go. I don't need to go quite that far. So there you go pretty good. Now I can subtract this color right down here. Let's click on our subtract button and I'll click on that white area there and just remove that from our selection. I'm going to click on that little blue area right in there. Doesn't really want to do anything there. But you can see how this can by using these different tools and different parts of these tools will work better with different of your options. You can use this to come in and kind of refine the edge. Let's increase our contrast a bit here. Sometimes with this kind of a plant edge it will bring it into the edge a little bit, but I'm not seeing it in here. You also, if you want to, you can output this to a layer mask or a new layer or a new layer with layer mask or a new document even. When you're happy with your selection, just choose OK. But first you can take a fast look at it. Check your overlay. That looks pretty good. Um, but I can see how much tighter this is, a little better selection. It's still a little bit out. We have some that blue fringing happening in there. I can probably try the defringe tool to remove a little bit of that fringing. But I think we're OK. Choose OK. And we've now modified that selection.